<laughs> she big as hell. What is it? Is that leggings? Bro, this is why niggas got trust issues now. This ain't no offense to the big girls out there. If you big and you owning your your uh your bigness, right? If you big and you owning your bigness, more, more power to you, sister. Jordy? You know what Jordy do? Jordy put in for the job. This is all. No. Guys, this no. is all white shit. You know what I'm doing a video in an audience? This is all. I, I'm, hey, I'm talking, I'm talking, hey, I'm talking to my Instagram people. I am talking to my Instagram people. And guys, this is how Unaman get catch. Because the men that are at the gym, they are... They got prosthetic pussy lips. So you trying to tell me all the time I've been at the gym and I have seen some fat pussy, it might be a chance that she got that? I feel some type of way. Yeah. Well, I've got something to tell you. What? Um, I'm here in Denver, and I was going to meet up with a what I thought was 18 or 19 uh, year uh, old boy. Tell the truth. He he's 14. What? And what? got caught. And I got caught. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hey, Deb. Okay, hold on. Hey, this Deb, this is Tommy with Colorado Pet Patrol. Um, I'm here in Broomfield, Colorado with your husband. He attempted to pick up a 14-year-old who he knew was 14 to bring back to his hotel for sex. And we are here with him now. Yeah, and I apologize to tell you, he didn't want to call you, um, but we wanted you to know. Um, he clearly knew it was a 14-year-old. Um, this is our 267th catch. Um, and he's here at the Walmart to pick up the 14-year-old boy. What? I'm sorry. I'm, Why? This, this can't be real. I, I'm sorry, Deb. I'm so sorry, Deb. We can... I'm not going to lie. When I turned this video on, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, you got too many words, man. You got to be careful out here, bro. Like, I got my son, and you know, my son is a handsome little guy. I'm not going to lie. I am very overprotective of my son. He, like, I am overprotective, but you can't blame me. Look at shit like this. In the society we live in, niggas is kidnapping kids out here for for sick reasons. I seen this video. I don't know what court she was on. She was a Hispanic lady. And basically, she was talking about how her son got kidnapped. And the, the police was looking for her son. Everybody was looking for her son. And they found him in a car with a bunch of motherfuckers about to cross the border. So she said when she looked at him, it looked like he was sleeping. But it turns out that he was dead. And what the people did was they cut him open. Now, mind you, this is like a six, a six-year-old boy. They cut him open, took all his inside, his organs, his, everything out, and they replaced it with drugs. So they were trying to use him his insides, to smuggle drugs across the border. Think about that, son. It is so crazy having kids right now, bro. I put that bitch to him. So where the hell I'm from the jump, man? What just happened right now? I'm hitting this nigga bitch. Yeah. I'm hitting this nigga bitch. <laughs> nigga must have came in early on. You know how it go, like in the movie. I'm hitting this nigga bitch, dog. Real life. This nigga pop in. Woo wow 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 Bitch, woo wow They kiss you wrong for this. Da -da 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 -da. He came home from work. Yeah, I don't right. know if it, what what the fuck. Yeah, that what it looked like. Yeah. So I'm like, cause I know she wouldn't be just let me fuck. Hey, 
head, bro. The messed up part is I know what he's saying. That woo wah 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 wah. I get it. <laughs> oh, you feel me? So it had to be some shit like this. So shit, next time you know, he get to run. That nigga went to the class. Man, was like, and I'm trying. I'm like, bro, just, I, I just want to go, bro. I ain't trying to. You feel me? And they got to run. The nigga say, bitch, I blow your shit too. I said, bro, you better kill me, bro. I've been shot too many times. Yeah. You better kill me, bro. So he Because if I make it to that so house. He walked in the room. You just watching him walk to the closet. It, the closet was right there. Oh, all right. Closet right there. When you all walk right. in the room, on the right. All right, so well. Man, where was it? Oh, yeah, he say, bitch, I'll blow your shit too. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, bro, you might as well go kill me, bro. My whole mentality turned. Like, first, I'm trying to get home. Man, bro, if you gonna shoot that bitch, if you gonna blow that bitch, don't kill me, bro. I been shot too many times, bro. I ain't even gonna go through it with you, bro. Yeah. That nigga got too close to me. <laughs> oh, it, oh, my baby booty hole, nigga. Got too close to me. I must have pulled some jacket chain and shit, nigga. It was. Oh, it on oh, my baby booty hole, nigga. Got too close to me. I must have pulled some jacket chain and shit, nigga. It was all with. I got that bitch. We wrestling for that bitch, tussling for that bitch. This bitch right here. This bitch right here. And I'm finna tell you why that bitch ain't like this. Man, this bitch right here. This bitch right here. No count. Man, we wrestling for that bitch. I get a hold of that bitch. Cause I've been in too many positions like this. I get it. That's how the first time I get shot. You feel me? Wrestling with a nigga. Oh, some bitches. You feel me? <laughs> nigga got mad. It's story of my life. <laughs> nigga, look, yeah, yeah. these bitches love me. I don't know. It, it just, you feel me? I thank God and my mom and my people for my genes. You feel me? But, <laughs> real life. By God running back. Real life. When you took that bitch. Real life. That nigga must have got too close. I put that bitch to his ass. After we finish wrestling, I get that bitch. I get full control of that bitch. I put that bitch to that nigga. That nigga say, Please don't shoot me. Please don't shoot me. Man, that bitch ain't even loaded. What? Yeah. Bow! And walked off and ran from where I was. Yeah, and got to this man. side where I'm at. <laughs> Nigga, that bitch. And, and got to this side where I'm at. Yeah, that's my bop. I would love to see the female that um this man almost lost his life over. Bet you she ain't worth a dollar. The main thing I want to say is, men... Men, please do not throw y'all lives away over these no good bitches. There is no point in going to jail over some pussy, bro. Over one pussy when it's like millions of fucking fish in the sea type shit. You feel me? Stay away from people's women. Stay away from people's girlfriends. Stay away from people's wives. Some of these dudes is willing to throw their lives away. They're willing to crash out over their females, bro.